just in, coming to you live from the Aromatic Studio, a new favorite niche brand. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on, guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. I forgot I have to keep this next to my face. Why am I using this microphone, you might ask? Well, I had some plans for it, and I got it off of Amazon. My dog pretty much destroyed the box, and now I'm stuck with this. And I just thought it would be pretty cool to just feel like a news reporter. And so that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna report about a fragrance that I think is fire. But not just a fragrance, this entire house has actually been slapped on heavily. And I'm pretty guilty of that myself. But hopefully we're gonna change that because there is a bunch of good news to report in this video. But I have to personally set a mental like breakdown because I'm gonna lose my mind just talking about all the things that I have to talk about. <sighs> Chill out. It's not that serious. Happy New York fragrances. I've been seeing a lot of their advertisements. They're all over Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, man. Finally, after meeting the wonderful couple of Habibi New York, I, I decided the second time around, just pick up some fragrances. And that's exactly what I did at Scent Explore. They were there, they had a booth, along with the booth in Dubai, the uh, Beauty World Dubai. And this time I was like, I'm local, I might as well grab a couple. And that's exactly what I did. I got three fragrances, but I picked these specifically because who doesn't like affordable? And that's exactly what these are. Niche? Affordable? Yeah, that's what we're all about, am I right? But more important than affordable, if it's affordable in quality, that's like a plus on top of a plus. That's exactly what these are, guys. All bullshit aside, this brand is quality to the max. These fragrances retail at about $130. Happy New York decided to offer the Aromatics family a coupon code of 20%, you guys. 20% is a pretty big deal. 20% off of 135. Alexa, what's 20% of 135? I'm a health major. $27 off, $108 for 75 ml, 2.5 ounces of straight up niche fragrance. That's exactly what it is. All of these are made in the United States, so you don't have to worry about any of the IFRA, uh, you know, uh, violations or anything like that. For a lot of people that are worried about, you know, cheapies and stuff like that, you're gonna get good quality, man. You pay the high dollar, you get high dollar products. Except with this one, the main reason I picked this up, you guys, is because it exceeds that, okay? And with that 20% off, it's a no brainer. You go to Macy's, you're not even gonna find a fragrance for $105. And you might find a fragrance for $105, like Azaro Chrome Extreme, which you can get on discounters for like 35 bucks. These, however, have a lot more heart. There's a lot more to the presentation. We already know that as far as price value, it's a 10 out of 10. They do have a couple of other fragrances which come in a more premium presentation. And I've presented one of these before. I have it on the table here, a part of my one of my list videos. It's that good. And it smells like Karak tea. It's a part of this one. It's the reserve collection. It's a little bit more expensive but you get what you pay for. Not only is it a higher scent profile, but it's a parfum concentration, so it does last a bit longer. This one that we're gonna be talking about specifically lasts a hell of a long time. I had zero problems with the longevity issues. More importantly than that, the scent profile and the way that this one smells is high quality, man. This reminds me of some of my favorite citrus fragrances while still maintaining its own originality. For today's video, I'd like to just give you guys an introduction to the house, Heavy B New York, if you haven't already heard about them. They were started here in New York by this beautiful couple, and you guys, I mean it when I say beautiful couple. It's not just fluff. I met them in person, their hospitality was amazing. They took a lot of pride in what they do, and the number one thing that I remember the gentleman telling me constantly is Munib. We source our products from premium ingredients. That was like the most repetitive thing I heard from him. And when I sniffed the fragrances, you can absolutely tell. So, a couple of the fragrances that we're gonna be talking about today include spiced orris and bergamot. We're gonna be talking about white Moroccan leather. And the last one we're gonna talk about is sage and citrus oud. These are the three that I decided to pick up because of the first initial impression was really, really freaking good. But if you wanna jump into this house and you don't wanna get full bottles, they also have discovery sets, which is also extremely affordable. So check out their website, use code Aromatics, you can save 20% off. So let's go ahead and get started with the first fragrance. And before we get into the actual bottle itself, I wanna take a look at the presentation on all of these. For these bottles at this price range, the presentation looks relatively similar across the boards. There's a super thick cardboard style sleeve with some Middle Eastern or Arabic designs on these sides and along with the front cutout. So when you pull that cardboard sleeve out, it reveals the box, you pull up the top, and the fragrance rests in a cutout. And inside the cutout, you have the bottle like so, and it's called Spiced Bergamot and Oris. This is their signature design. On the front, you see H for Habibi, and on the bottom, it's Habibi. So the word Habibi itself basically means my love. And it was a thing also that was very used repetitively was that that was the entire motto of the brand itself. The word Habibi is used because they want to inspire love through their perfumery. So that's like their main is like Eastern perfumery infused with Western style and taste 
in this bottle right here and inspired by love. So all of their fragrances are inspired by love. And so let's just get right into it, man. The first fragrance I wanna talk about is Spiced Bergamot and Oris. Off of the top, this is so good. It smells like a fresh citrus fragrance. It honestly reminds me a lot of like lemonade, but much more than just lemonade. There's some cardamom at the top, some black pepper. You get this Oris, it's nice, it's buttery. If you like Oris fragrances, you're gonna absolutely love this one. It's a citrus fragrance that you can wear in the summertime, springtime, and in the fall time. I wouldn't necessarily necessarily recommend it during the winter time, but honestly, it's got enough spice and an oriental edge that could honestly do just fine during the winter if you're going somewhere indoors. So yes, I rocked this. This is the first fragrance out of the three that I actually got a full wearing of, and I'll discuss this in a more in-depth review for this fragrance on its own, but this one, it really did good. During the winter time, I got a seven hours out of this fragrance. Granted, it lasted a little bit more so on clothing than it did on skin because of the fact that my skin was a lot more dry considering it was like 27 degrees and windy. Obviously, if I'm dry, it's gonna perform less and vice versa. So if you really want more out of your fragrances in terms of longevity, you've gotta be moisturized and also the, the weather does play a significant role. But Spiced Bergamot in Orange is all about the citruses up top and you get this mellow spiced undertone. The spiced undertone is gonna come directly from this cardamom and that black pepper. And as you get into the mid, you get mostly this nice earthy but fatty orris quality. If you like fragrances like Dior Homme Sport, Dior Homme Cologne, or even the discontinuous Continue Dior Homme O. This is like a niched out version of all of those. It's in that same family, but to be honest, the quality of this one smells like just a notch up. There's something more unique about this one, and it's that oriental touch that I think really wins me over with this fragrance. So a couple of discontinued fragrances that I mentioned include that Dior Homme O. This one, it honestly took me way back, and it did it in an even better way. So if you enjoy those types of fragrances, fabric softener with citruses, slight bits of oriental vibes, undertone of spices, you should definitely check out Spice Bergamot and Oris. The main reason, or the point of referencing Dior Homme O, which I do have in my collection, is not so much to say that it smells like it because it's far from it, but it's in that same vein or family. This is discontinued now, and to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't even hunt for that anymore. I would much rather go for this because, like I said, it does this whole lemonade vibe, but it adds an oriental bite to it, and I absolutely love it for that. And since we're on the topic of this fragrance, I'll just go ahead and give you guys my full reporting. So this will serve as a full review for Spice Bergamot and Oris. Total rating and score for this fragrance, I'd give this a solid solid nine out of 10 for a freshie, for a spring and fall time. This is happy vibes right here. So if you like fragrances like Musk Therapy, if you like fragrances like Dior Homme O, you're gonna absolutely love this one, except like I said, it adds that Middle Eastern bite. Notes of this fragrance include cardamom, bergamot, black pepper, and sparkling citrus. So you're gonna get this effervescence at the top. And to be honest with you guys, it smells like a mellow lemon. There's nothing cleaner like, there's nothing sharp whatsoever with this fragrance. Once we get into the mid, you're gonna detect this buttery, fatty, orris quality quality, slightly earthy, and it's also mellowed out even more by this fluffy lavender as well. Once you start getting into the dry down, now you start to get this dry woods quality, mostly from this Haitian vetiver. So it does have a vetiver nuance in that later dry down, but it's complemented very nicely with this tonka. A very nice base sweetness, so it smells almost like this sugared lemonade with this creamy fatty orris and a touch of oud. There's absolutely nothing animalic to this fragrance, and really the most standout-ish uh, nuance from this fragrance is going to be the vetiver in that dry down. But even then, I'm not really crazy about Terre d'Hermes. I'm not crazy about super vetiver fragrances. This one, however, the Oris just absolutely wins me over. Oris, cardamom, lemon vibes, and bergamot is really is an infusion of two notes. It's gonna be an orange and a lemon. So the bergamot is technically a hybrid fruit. Yeah, it sounds good to me, and it honestly is good. So with longevity and, and everything considered, the quality of this one is also a 10 out of 10. So everything considered, this is a solid nine out of 10. If you're looking for a fragrance you can wear to the office, to the gym, as a daily banger, this is it. I had a lot to say about this fragrance, man, because it, it really was a lot of a fragrance. It wasn't just a typical citrus freshie. It was something that started off with some cardamom, it started off with some citruses, it got fatty, it got thick, it got fluffy, it smells sophisticated, elegant, clean, fresh, and everything else. And then in the dry down, it starts to get a little bit more masculine with those dry woods and touches of tonka. Not too much oud if I'm being honest, but like I said, if anything, it's just like this dry woods. Spice Bergamot and Oris is a nine out of 10 in my books. The next fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys briefly about, it's just first impressions for these other two because I haven't worn them yet. This one, yeah. Spice, Oris, and Bergamot, I'm all for it. So the next fragrance we're gonna be talking about is called White Moroccan Leather. You guys will understand why I love so many of these fragrances when I read the note breakdown to you. So the top of this fragrance has white pepper, bright citrus, and nutmeg. In the mid, we've got Oris and incense, 
uh, sold. That's it. That's all you had to say. And then we've got sandalwood, white leather, patchouli, rich woods, and warm amber. This sounds amazing, but it smells even better. It smells a lot different than you would think when you read this note breakdown. You're gonna think something incense -y, you're gonna think something just straight up citruses. But what I get with this vibe of fragrance is clean. I think clean when I smell this. And most of this clean vibe that I get, it reminds me a lot of like white musk tahara. So if you know anything about oud making or bakhur making, I should say, you know that white musk is a fragrance oil that's used in a lot of bakhur. It's basically this oil that we use to kind of purify, if you will. It removes any fragrances, it removes any scents, and it just smells like cleanliness. That's what this really reminds me of. It reminds me of white misc with a lot more than just white misc. So let me spray this on a tester strip and remind myself what I get with this fragrance. And honestly, before I even do that, this design is sick. I love this frosted finish on the glass and the white matte cap is sick. I think this bottle is really nice. So here we go, let's check it out. At the top of this fragrance, it's gonna be all about the citruses and the spices. It's not too spicy of a fragrance for me personally. I love spicy fragrances, but it has this overall white musk cleanliness to this entire fragrance. It smells like it looks, a frosted white. Despite the fact that it has those two spices at the top, I think that the Oris shines right away from the top because of the fact that it doesn't come off too spicy. You definitely have to enjoy more spicy openings, but it's by no means something that's gonna be just abrasive or sharp. Perfectly well balanced, it's got this buttery Oris that really envelops some of those spices, and that's really where I'm at with the top. But the top of this fragrance is extremely sexy. The top of this fragrance has a pretty hefty dose of citruses and some pepper. The pepper and the nutmeg contribute the spicy nuance at the top. It is relatively spicy at the opening, but it's not going to be off-putting by any means. White pepper is a lot milder than something like abrasive pink pepper. Pink pepper smells almost like you scraped your knee if you don't put it or blend it with some other nuances. It literally smells that harsh. This one, however, is extremely well blended with buttery orris. It's got this slight undertone or earthy nuance of some buttery orris, which softens out the entire uh, spicy vibe. The nutmeg, there is some kind of sweet sweetness at the top here as well. It could likely be coming from the nutmeg, but overall the top in this one wins me over immediately. It definitely has this overall oriental vibe, but it's clean. This smells like citruses and white musk. If you know anything about white musk or misk tahara, what we use in a lot of our bakhur, this smells a lot like that white musk with a lot of other fragrance oils, like those white pepper, the nutmeg, and some leather. The leather in this fragrance doesn't smell like it's gonna be anything that's in the forefront, and it is noted as a white leather. So it's a pretty bright citrus, smooth smooth but yet spicy at the same time leather fragrance. With a lot of amber fragrances, including this one I believe, it's gonna be more about like this aura that you're gonna be carrying with, with this fragrance really. In a nutshell, what this seems like to me, at least during first impression, is it's gonna be this ambery white leather and oriental fragrance. I haven't given it a full wear so I don't wanna say too much about it until I actually give it a wearing, but I feel like the base or the backbone of this fragrance is gonna be more of like this aura or this cleanly vibe that you're gonna have around you the entire time. With just enough spices and an oriental touch that's gonna really make this one stand out. I've never smelled anything like this one for sure. So for that reason, I definitely have to give this one a wear just so I can actually study it and break it down. But a really good fragrance nevertheless and it got my attention enough to pick this one up. So white Moroccan leather, it's a great fragrance as well. Last fragrance I saved for last because it's got something pretty interesting to it. They've got a couple of notes. It's a proprietary blend of some kind of oil that they only have the rights to. And for that reason, you know you're nobody's gonna smell like you. This is called Sage and Citrus Oud by Habibi New York. Same style bottle and the top comes off like so and inside rests the fragrance. So here we go. The caps are on there pretty snug. They don't snap on a place, but I mean, it's not going anywhere, at least for this one. So let's get this on a tester and talk about it. So some of the notes include lemon, orange oil, cumin, and seed oil, lavender, geranium, sage, black pepper, patchouli, vetiver, cedarwood, and Virginian, USA, or pur, and oud. So here we go. Let's check it out. Wow. This is aromatic heaven. Beautiful opening at the top. I get a hefty dose of some citruses. The cumin here is not off-putting whatsoever, beautifully blended, and it's also got this pretty hefty backbone of cedar wood. Very beautiful fragrance, very aromatic. A lot of this mandarin honeyed orange, naturalistic smelling, very naturalistic smelling. I am absolutely in love with this fragrance. If you like citruses, but you love aromatic fragrances and woody, this is so good. This one smells the most masculine of them all. This is like money bags, citruses, the best woods, the quality of this, 
the quality of this is out of this world, honestly. Sage and citrus oud. Gentlemen, if you like aromatic fragrances, with a little bit of citrus, natural oils, a little bit oriental. This is the vibe right here. Sage and citrus oud, gorgeous fragrance. Brittle woods, extremely aromatic with a beautifully naturally honeyed orange. What more can I say about it? First impression for this fragrance, you have to like aromatic fragrances. There you have it, three fragrances from Heavy Bee New York. I'm gonna be reviewing each one of these except for the one that I already reviewed, which is a spice bergamot and orange. White Moroccan leather. This smells like an aura. This smells like something that I'm gonna be carrying like a scent bubble the entire time, and nobody's gonna smell like me. These are not your designer, typical standard mall products. They're good stuff. So check them out. Let me know what you guys think down in the description if you've ever picked up anything from this brand. Their website is for heavybee.com. You can use code aromatic, save 20% off, jump into a discovery set. I'm not telling you to jump into blind buying a full bottle, but if you do and you enjoyed any one of my descriptors, then you probably won't be disappointed. I know I'm not, and I know that I'm gonna be grabbing a lot more because of this haul. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next one, peace.